I believe the basic attribute of mankind is to look after each other. And that's what makes humans look after other humans when they are in need. Recently, my uh, father-in-law, he lives in the Philippines, um, had some issues around uh, his eyesight. And when um, we, we, we got him to go to the doctors and we knew it was a cataract problem. Um, and at that point, you know, we, we, we've got to find out what, what do we do? How do we get this resolved? Now, coming from Australia, I'd known about the Fred Hollows Foundation. And I'd known for many, many years about the great work that Fred had done here in Australia with the um, remote Aboriginal communities and how he went on to uh, places like Vietnam and uh, more recently the Philippines with his foundation. Fred, of course, died in uh, 1993. I believe it was a form of cancer uh, that, that got him. He was only 63 years of age, but had a massive impact on um, helping people with uh, cataract blindness around the world. To date, Fred and his foundation has cured over two million people from um, blindness worldwide. And that's just astounding. So, of course, when, when um, my father-in-law needed, um, needed to get this operation, or wondering how to do it and who to see. So we got, we got onto the Fred Hollows Foundation who um, offers free this free service to people in the Philippines uh, to actually do the operation on the cataracts. And as I say, we contacted them and they asked him to go in for, a, um, for, for an assessment. And they and within a couple of weeks they're performing the operation. Now, it's free to the people in the Philippines as long as you have the Phil Health. And my father-in-law didn't actually have his own, but he was able to go under one of his daughters to get that operation done. Now, the, the cost of those operations is only about 25 Australian dollars. So, uh, since he's had the operation, and, and I must say he's he's reported that his eyesight is far far better, which is great to hear. Um, we've donated $25 already back to the Fred Hollows Foundation, so another person may get that done. Now, I'm not, I'm not here to necessarily to tell you about, um, and you go out and, and, and donate. It's just a story telling you about Fred and the work that he did, and it continues today, and is helping people in places like the Philippines so much um, that it's a fantastic story, I believe. Um, and it needs to be shared, and people need to be aware that there is help if you're in the Philippines, and you're, you're, you're a local to the, in the Philippines, you live there, and you're a, you're a citizen of that country, then help is available should you need it. Now, I think my father-in-law went to the uh, Tarlac Eye Centre, or Eye Hospital in Tarlac, was where the Fred Hollows people work out of, and they were fantastic at that hospital. They looked after um, my father-in-law very, very well. They treated him very well. And of course, the surgery there went very, very well. So everything was fantastic. So just um, heads up for anyone who may live in the Philippines, be a, be a Filipino citizen. If you know somebody that needs this operation, the help is there. I'm going to leave a link to uh, Fred Hollow's website there. And I might also leave a uh, link to the um, Facebook page of the Tarlac Eye Centre. So if you have any questions, you can refer it straight to them. I'd just like to add as well that the, uh, as, as I said, I don't know if you can read it there, but the Fred Hollows Foundation has consistently been named one of Australia's top five reputable char charities. Uh, we were named 2013 Charity of the Year and recognised by the Global Journey as one of the world's top 50 NGOs. Now, Fred himself, he, he was uh, born and, and raised, I believe, in New Zealand, but came to Australia and did a lot of his work here. He became a uh, citizen, I believe, of Australia, I think it was around 1989, 
and he, and he was named in 1990, I think, the Australian of the Year for all his uh, great work. So I'm going to just show you a little bit of uh, the video that's on this channel, just bits and pieces so you get a bit of an idea about the work this man does here in Australia and, and over in the Philippines as well. So sit back and uh, enjoy. Humans care for each other. We look after the weak, the young, the sick, and the old. It's a bloody good act, Jack. It's a ripper. <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'm gonna get to... The Australian of the Year for 1990 is Professor Fred Hollis. If the work you're doing is good work and somebody's criticizing it, go on and do it. We only had two meetings, and it was set up within 10 days of the first meeting. He said, let's do it. Everybody who worked in it remembers to this day what good work it was because it was once you got into it, you realised how necessary this work was. And restoring sight to blind Aborigines was just a tremendous thing to be doing. If doing good's preventing people going blind and curing curable blindness, I don't care what they call me. <laughs> what Vietnam has to have is the means of taking our cataracts and putting in intraocular lenses spread far and wide throughout this country. process that's going to go on those people are going to be training others and they're going to be training others and so on you know so it's exciting stuff long after you're gone yeah That's amazing. Um, Fred is amazing. Um, I don't get paid a Zach for the, any of this, so if you people go and uh, go and donate, I don't get anything. This is just something I believe very strongly about since uh, my father had his operation and the, all the good it did. And, and, and I know a lot about Fred Hollows and his amazing work that he did before he died and the work that it's carried on to now. So if you're in the Philippines and you and you and you want to get it checked out, then and I've given you the details in the description below. Okay guys, really appreciate you watching. Thanks very much. Don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button, turn notification on as we've got a lot more stuff coming this, your way. And um, I'd like to hear your comments below as well. So put your comments down if you've had any dealings with the Fred Hollow Foundation or you know anyone who's had uh, cataract surgery or needs cataract surgery. Whack, whack your comments down below, it'd be great to hear. Okay guys, thanks very much. Bye for now, take care.